Dr. Jaffe, one of our customers writes in, we now understand that SARS-CoV-2 uses the SARS-CoV receptor ACE2 for entry and the serine protease TMPRSS2 for S protein priming. Can you describe the mechanism by which camphorol, quercetin, lutein, etc., are able to inhibit the proteases such as TMPRSS2 mentioned above? Very sophisticated question, very timely indeed. And flavonoids, including the whole list of what you mentioned, are all helpful if they get to the innate immune defense and repair cells, the wiggly dendritic cells, the granulocytes, fibroblasts, monocytes, macrophages, basophils, eosinophils, the cells that are on surveillance. They go from the bloodstream to the tissues and from the tissues through the lymphatics back into the bloodstream and they're on surveillance looking for anything that is foreign, which needs to be recycled, taken into the lysosomal recycling center, and anything that needs to be repaired. Because our body is constantly in need of repair. And our immune defense and repair system is responsible for both defense and repair. So flavonoids are an important category of activators of these immune defense and repair cells. But coercin and dihydrate, more soluble, more research, more evidence of safer and effective. And so, yes, there are many coercidins with sophisticated names because of the plant or the source that they come from. However, the most soluble, the safer, more effective flavonoid is coercin and dihydrate, and soluble OPC is its complement on the flavanol side. And not all flavonoids or flavanols are equal. So yes, different flavonoids or flavanols have been promoted widely for a short period of time because they're something novel, something that is hard to spell. For the last three plus decades, we have been advocating the safer, more effective flavonoid coercin and dihydrate working alongside the soluble orthoproanthocyanidins, the soluble OPC, and the more literature we read, the more experience we have, the more chapters we publish on this important subject, the more coercin and dihydrate stands out. So yes, there are many flavonoids, but coercin and dihydrate is first among equals, safer and more effective at the levels we recommend, which often are the kinds of levels that your body needs when it's under assault and attack, because the 21st century is a hazardous time. And whether we're talking about these viruses, RNA or DNA viruses, or we're talking about other anti-nutrients, the oxidative um, solvent residues, the uh, persisting pollutants that are often hormone disruptors, the toxic metals, uh, the mold products, the radioisotopes that are all around us. We're marinating in a sea of these toxins, and that's why the PERC Integrative Health Approach is to increase your essential nutrient intake to balance out the anti-nutrient oxidative stresses of life so that we can add life to years and years to life. So yes, flavonoids are important and they do activate these important innate immune defense and repair cells, but coercin and dihydrate stands out as safer and more effective over decades and decades of research.